TV stand delivered for my daughter's room, so this is what we're gonna be building. This is from Amazon. So we decided just to use a stand, so we like these. This is our second time purchasing this brand from Amazon, so it's pretty good. So yeah, our TV should be coming in this week, so we're just gonna do the stand today. Hey guys, so I also wanted to mention, I forgot to mention this in my last couple of videos when I did the, the video that I, what I gave my kids, for, what I got my kids for Easter and the decorations on um, that video. I forgot to also mention I have these plastic eggs. So um, in here, this is what I had last year and this is what my mother-in-law happens to be giving these to my kids to play with. So instead of letting them play with it, I just decided to save it for now. Since I'm going to be doing an Easter egg hunt in my yard. So I have all of these eggs. So I just thought it was cute. So why not just save them? So it's like this. It had like candy and stuff in it. So I guess I'll do the same thing. Just add my candy. So I have one for him. One for her. So yeah, so I saved it. This is one of the buckets they had last year also. So just want to give you a little advice. Cause this is what I did last year was my first year doing an Easter egg hunt at my house so what I did was um I filled up the eggs with some chocolate candies and then I put them in my backyard which was a cool morning and then um little did I know that I did it around like eight o'clock in the morning because I didn't want the kids to know where I was hiding them in the backyard so I did that and then I think by the time we went to the yard it was uh, maybe about either 11, 12, or 1 o'clock, which was a little sunny by then. So I didn't know when my kids went to open their Easter eggs, 
it, the chocolate was all melted. It was a hot mess. And they were like, oh my god, mom. Like, ew. So, FYI, either don't put chocolate inside these eggs or don't put it and leave it outside so early. Like, I did. So, yeah. So, that day was a hot mess. I had to collect all the eggs. We were all scrambling to collect all the eggs. We had to wash all the eggs. I lost out on all those candies because obviously it melted. So, I had to wash the eggs and then, then I had no chocolate to really add in it. So what I did is I had um like like little gummy candies. So I ended up filling up the Easter eggs again with some gummy candies, and then I had to put them back outside so they can find the eggs. And that was my last year experience on Easter, which was a hot mess. But now this year, what I plan on doing is either I could still do the chocolate, but I'll do it like literally like five minutes before we're about to go outside and do the Easter egg hunt. I'll probably just scatter the eggs like that, or I could still do it like five minutes before we're gonna go and I'll just put like gummy candies like gummy I, I'd rather have candy that's in wrappers because you know once they open the egg the candy's gonna fall on the floor Krabby Patties I have some um gummy candies that are in wrappers so I'm gonna be using that and some chocolate but like I said I'm gonna be doing it the smart way this time and I'm gonna do it like five minutes before we go outside Hey guys, so I also wanted to mention that my daughter's birthday is literally like about three weeks away and I'm just now figuring out what I'm going to be doing for my birthday. So what I wanted to do, I did Minnie Mouse already and I did just a plain pink theme before. So now she's turning three. So I decided to do, I was debating between like Peppa Pig but I really didn't like you know, the decorations that they had at party city so i don't know i just wanted something that was like bright and stand out so i decided on crybaby since she has a whole bunch of crybaby toys but the only problem with that is that they don't carry it at the stores i guess it's not that popular which i think it should be because it's really cute and colorful and girly so what i had to do was i was going to do it myself but it just took too much time and it was too hard to figure out and like i said at the last minute like, my birthday is literally like three weeks away, I think. So, yeah. So, anyway, so I went on Etsy and I decided what I'm gonna do is um, do like everything else plain, but I want to have like certain things sticking out as crybabies since they don't really have any crybabies, like anything <laughs> at the store. So, I wanna get, um, what do you call it? I wanna get like the balloons, colorful, and the tablecloth. I, I want to go with like a teal color and then colorful balloons and then the decorations will be just like that order for So what I did was I want to do like the Caprice juice which we have and cover it with crybabies on it and then I wanted to do um, the chips so I'll have to buy like a small bag of chips and cover that. So I already ordered it from Etsy which is just a downloadable oh, it's a PDF. So it's a downloadable PDF. So I already did two yesterday. So this is going to be her chips. So once I get her bag of chips, this is I'm gonna cover it. So this is how it came out. So then you cover it like this, and that'll be the bag of chips. And then back this section here says thank you for coming to my birthday. The middle says happy birthday. And then here will be the normal nutrition section, but instead it's just just saying birthday wishes, happiness, fun, family, friends, like that. So this is really cute. So I plan on make, because this is like the original, so I'm going to just um, make some copies. I'm actually waiting for the paper to come in the mail today from Amazon. So I could print some out so I can start putting it on the chips, but I don't have the chips yet. So I have to get chips. So I'm doing chip bags and I'm doing the juice, which I have the juice so that I could get started with as soon as I get the paper. So I painted this, so this is how the Capri juice looks like, and then you just peel this off and attach it to the juice, and this will be the cover. Okay, yeah, so the chips were three fifty, and then the juice is $3. So you're just paying for the design, basically, and you print it out, and then you can use it as many times as you want. So, yeah, I'm going to be printing this out. And this and I will be filming it also like I did with my son's birthday because I was still debating if I'm gonna do um candy bags and I also need to like peel it out which now I think about it I could use this too to put it on the candy bags 
I don't have to get candy bags. And then I'll get like plain color candy bags and then I'll just sticker this part up. I'll peel this off and I'll put it on the bag, which is what I'm thinking now. So when we got the TV, we noticed there was like a little mark on the TV, but we just thought maybe it was like the little clear paper that they put on it, like the little plastic to like this. Wait, let me show you. Yeah, you can see. Like this. So we thought this was under here. So then we turned on the TV. Now this is, this is get ready. TV is broken. So this is the damaged part down here, which will cause all this. We don't know if they kicked it, they dropped it, or whatever. But when it came in the box, everything was fine. And then when we opened it, we saw this. So this is our second Costco purchase that's been damaged. Yes. So her TV is. Yes. We are very mad. Yeah, it burned me, Mom. And man, we know. So now we're waiting for the new TV to come in. They're going to take this one. They told us to make sure that we look in the box before the delivery guys leave to make sure that this one is not broken. Yeah, so this is, like I said, my second purchase from Costco that came damaged our dining room table. If you saw my last video or a couple of videos back, um, we got our dining room table, but the chairs um the leg of the chairs were not measured correctly or cut correctly so they wobble so out of eight chairs like five of our chairs wobble and we had to send back this what we thought was just the chairs and we'll get new chairs instead they told us that we had to return the whole dining room table and chairs and we had to wait a couple days to get a whole new set yeah so this is our next purchase and now the tv is damaged now we have to wait for this now so when we get the new one, then I'll show you guys how it should look compared to this. So yeah, so that's the little update I wanted to tell you guys on my Costco purchase damage situation. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll see you on my next clip or my next video. Yeah, so, I'm, so I'll see you when I pick up the camera again. <laughs> Bye guys. Shut